welcome back to Computers for the Completely Clueless. I'm Lee Keller. Kim Cavanaugh here. We're talking about Picasso. Picasso. Picasso does a number of things for us. It's a photo editor free from Google. Google.com. Uh, I think actually Picasso.google.com will also take you there. Yeah. Um, and it has a lot of functions. And one of the major functions it does is it allows you to organize your photographs. Yeah. Uh, it'll put them into um, folders based on when you took it. And then, of course, you can add your own folders. So when we left the last segment, we had just gone through the installation process, oh, and we'll go over to the computer screen. And as you might suspect, Google is really good at searching things. Yeah, you know? go figure. <laughs> and search inside your computer to search for all of your images is a pretty easy thing for Google to yeah. pull off. So we've selected, again, only to scan my documents and my computers, and we're going to go ahead and click on the Continue button. And watch it go to town. No pictures found. That can't be right. No photos found. Whoa, oh, there we go. There it goes. There we go. And now it's, it's looking. Look at it doing this over here in a corner. Right. A little flyout comes out, and it's actually pulling up little thumbnail versions. You can see the pictures. Of all the pictures through scanning through, coming in. Okay, one at a time, blah, 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 blah. Now, how about that big screen there, Lee, the main one? As it's pulling these pictures in, why don't we have a look uh, over here where it talks about the photo viewer. These are different types of files that it's looking for and becoming right. the photo viewer for. Now, now, what does that mean? What's the default viewer mean? That means if you double click on a file, say in Windows Explorer, okay. it's going to open in your default viewer. Okay. Now, and in Windows, Windows, typically that's Windows Picture Viewer, I picture think. Picture Viewer and Fax Viewer or something okay. like that. And frankly, I like that better because it's a smaller program. It doesn't take as long to go. So okay. I'm not going to use. Sure, there's a select none picture there. That would have been easy. Yes, it, it would. And the select none select button. None. Now, again, it's a, a totally up to you um, as whether or not you want to do this. If you don't, you know, if you try Picasso and you decide that you like it, you yeah. can always go back and reset it. So it's not a big deal. Uh, you can still use the picture. Only the different thing we're doing here is saying, all right, when we double click on a, a photo um, document. Yeah, on the okay, file. On a file. Mm -hmm. uh, we want it to open up in, in the Windows version, not Picasso. And, and, and so not a big deal. Okay, and now we're going to click on Finish. And, and look at this. And whoa, we've got some bizarro pictures here. Now, you notice where these are, though. These are put in a folder called Local Faces. Okay. So, you know, it's sorted these things over here. And it also sorted them by date on the left here. Right. So, on the left-hand side, let's kind of take a quick look around the interface. And one of the things I love about Picasa is just how nicely organized it is in terms of the workspace that you're using, right? Yeah, it's real clean. So over on the left-hand side, you'll always see the options. And so when you're in the catalog um, uh, portion of the program, it's going to show you the different folders. So yeah. we're to caution to our viewers that have a ton of pictures. Right. It's going to make, it's going to sort them by year and then show every folder. So if you've got like 40, 50 folders where you've been keeping things, right. it's going to look at each of those folders. On the other hand, if you've been taking pictures for, say, 5, 10 years, it's also going to show all those years. Right. And it actually, you can sort, another, you know, one of the cool things that you can do, we'll probably do it next week, is you can sort items on a timeline basis. Mm -hmm. So you can go back, and, and it looks to me like the earliest uh, picture you have is from 2004. Yeah. So you can start in 2004 and go all the way up to the current time and see your pictures in, in lots and lots of different ways. And you've got so, the little turn arrows there that you right. can use to open and close things right. so that you don't have to look at everything. It helps you right. clean up your desktop a little bit. Right. And uh, up at the very top above that, let's say you've got a camera and you've just taken a new batch of pictures. Mm -hmm. You can now import your pictures from your camera. Which is pretty um, cool. And all you have to do is click that button, plug your camera in, and in most cases you've just got a little USB cable, right? Mm -hmm. Plug it into the camera on one side, computer on the other. Open up Picasa, hit import. Maybe we'll do that next week, too. Okay. okay. There's so a lot to this program. There is a Maybe lot to it's the free. program. All right, so let's take a look. And so we understand in general terms how to organize stuff. It automatically came in and found pictures mm -hmm. based on the folders that they were in. And it looks to me like you've got a lot of pictures from Mexico. Yes, Which is kind of cool. We must trip. have taken a vacation down there or a yeah. trip down there or something. And uh, or we're trying to escape the federal uh, government down there. I can't remember, Lee. I came but, back. Uh, you came back, yeah. All right. So uh, there's Lee's trip to Mexico. Now, I bet that you don't, if you were going to make, let's say, uh, a batch of pictures that you wanted to share with someone, mm -hmm. you wouldn't want to use all 100 of those pictures, no. right? You might want to slim it down. So that's one of the nice things 
that Picasa allows you to do is to create new folders and new albums and share them with people in different ways. But I also saw one that I think is probably the number one thing that people want to use a photo editor for. And uh, <laughs> you saw it, our favorite young yeah. woman. Uh, and I think she was, where was she? Was she I thought bottom? she was in local faces. Oh, there she is. All right, there she is. Now, this is a picture. This is no one we know. This is actually a picture we found on the Internet and of an example excellent. of really bad red eye. And Lee's going to double click that, and that's going to bring the picture up. Now, look at the interface for a second, and we'll get Courtney to kind of pan back a little bit yeah. so we see the whole window. Uh, over on the left hand side, remember we said the left hand side is where you have your controls for the program, and over on the right hand side is where you see either thumbnails of all your pictures, or in this case, the full size picture. And this poor gal, uh, someone took a picture of her with the flash on. I actually think this girl is famous now because <laughs> if you go to Google and you start to look for red eye under images, right. this is one She's of the first pictures that come up. And well, it's, it's excellent for it's, it's demonstrating. Great. Now, so over on the left-hand side, we see that's our, our work area, our tools area. Mm -hmm. And right there under basic fixes, we have red eye. Now, Lee, this is used to be really hard to this do. It used to take a lot of work. It used, used to, to be used to have minutes. to draw a circle and then a little quarter circle and get the shine just right. Is it still that hard, Lee? Not even close. Okay, that's so one thing about computers for the completely clueless. We find easy stuff. Okay. So we're going to click on the red eye button, and then, oh, look, it even gives you a little set of instructions. Now, th this is eerie. If you look at that, it well, figured out where her eyes are. It did it for us already. I, that's, you know, that's, that blows me away. Now, we did, that's, <laughs> that must be new, because I don't believe that used to be that you had to actually go in and draw a little box around the eye. Or, or you had to click on the eye and so it figure it out. So what has bit. happened here instead now, they have changed the application so that it looks at the color values of the application, finds those bright reds, that it knows from experience are always the bright reds that you get with a red eye and fixed them automatically. It's that fast. In fact, let, let me cancel this and go back and do this again because <laughs> we may have missed it. it it's we better amazing. put on our high speed cameras now. There she is. There she is. And all we did is click the red eye button. And that fast, it it's finds her eyes and corrects the problem. Wow. So let's click on preview because we've got little green boxes over her eyes. Just takes beautiful. the boxes away and she's got beautiful eyes. I don't know how it figures so much out. All right, now so if we wanted to main, if we wanted to keep this change, what would we have to do? All we do is apply that change. Okay. And, and it's now, done. if you go back to your library, uh, there's a little button in the upper left-hand corner. Back to the library, there she is. So you've gotten, I mean, if, if nothing else, if only to fix red eyes. <laughs> that's the all fact that to it do. Call, the fact <laughs> that the program is free and it does it amazingly well. You know, if, you, if that's all you use it for, it's worth the time to download Picasa yeah. just for that. And it, uh, it just amazes me that it, it looks out there, it finds the, the eyes, it knows where to look for eyes. Right. It's pretty well, smart. Well, and exactly, and then you really think about it from a computer standpoint, all it's looking at is the color values of all mm -hmm. the teeny little boxes that make up that picture. Well, that is really cool. Now, um, there are a number of other things. So basically, when we're in the library, mm -hmm. we want to work on an image. All we have to do is double click on it and to bring it up. Now, when we come back from this next break, we'll take a look at a couple other common things that folks want to mm -hmm. do with a computer uh, when it comes to their photos. And we'll see how easy it is to do in Picasso 3. It's pretty great. Don't go anywhere.